we want to solve the equation 2x minus 6 equals 1. And because 2x means 2 times x, the solution to the equation is the value of x that makes 2 times x minus 6 equal to 1. In order to solve the equation for x, we need to isolate x on one side of the equation, and because the x term is on the left side of the equation, our solution will be in the form x equals some value, again, that makes the expression 2x minus 6 equal to positive 1. Looking more closely at the left side of the equation, in order to isolate x, we need to undo this multiplication and undo the subtraction. Because we have two operations to undo, this is often called a two-step equation. To solve a two-step equation, step one is always to undo the addition or subtraction to isolate the variable term, and step two is to undo the multiplication or division to isolate the variable or solve for the variable. So looking back at our equation, the first step is to undo minus six by performing the inverse or opposite operation. And therefore, to undo minus six, we will add six to both sides of the equation. Plus six will undo the minus six. So we'll add six to the left side of the equation. And whatever operation we perform to the left side of the equation, we must also perform to the right side to maintain equality. So we also have plus six on the right. And now simplifying both sides of the equation, the plus six undoes the minus six, or negative six plus six equals zero. So these two terms simplify out. And now we just have the variable term 2x on the left side. So we have 2x equals, on the right side we have 1 plus 6, which equals 7. Now again, because 2x means 2 times x, the second step is to undo this multiplication. To undo multiplying by 2, we perform the inverse or opposite operation. And therefore, to undo multiplying by 2, our second step will be to divide both sides of the equation by 2. Dividing by 2, will undo multiplying by two. And therefore, we also divide the right side by two. Now looking at the left side of the equation, dividing by two undoes multiplying by two. So the left side simplifies to just x. This is also two divided by two, which equals one, and one times x is just x. On the right side, we have seven divided by two, or the fraction seven halves. And the fraction seven halves does not simplify because the only common factor between seven and two is one, and therefore our solution as a fraction is seven halves. We could also convert seven halves to a decimal by dividing seven by two. Let's go ahead and show that. Seven divided by two, there are three twos in seven. Three times two is six. Subtracting seven minus six is one. If we want to convert to a decimal, we'd add a decimal point to the right of seven, move it up to the quotient, and then add a zero in the tenths place value. Then we can bring the zero down. Notice how there are exactly five twos in 10. Five times two is 10, subtract. Because the difference is zero, we now know our quotient can also be expressed as 3.5. So because seven halves is equal to the terminating decimal 3.5, we could also express this as 3.5 but what we should never do is convert a fraction into a decimal and then round, because by rounding, we would not be given the exact solution. Before we go, let's check our solution by substituting seven halves for x into the original equation to make sure it satisfies the equation. So performing the substitution, we would have two times seven halves minus six equals one. And notice how this simplifies very nicely. This is the same as two over one, and two over two simplifies to one over one. So this product is just seven. Seven minus six equals one. Seven minus six is one, so we have one equals one, which is true. Verifying our solution is correct. I hope you found this helpful.